place to be. Mr. Music, you know, I've just been enjoying our beautiful forest, and I've been wondering how we can keep it this way. Pollution is a terrible problem, and it's really destroying our country. I know it is, and I'm here to say that I'll help you in any way. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Music. I, I sure could use some help. I wish people everywhere would do their part. Owl has got a home on the big branch of a tree. When he looks from left to right, town and forest he can see. Give a hoot, don't pollute your good outdoor manor show. Leave a trail that's nice and clean wherever you may go. Give a hoot, don't pollute wood. The owl knows what is best. Help him check pollution in. The north, south, east, and west. You know, this great country is our own, and it's up to us to care. Now, Woodsy Owl will lead the way, so come on, let's do our share. Give a hoot, don't pollute your good outdoor manor show. Leave a trail that's nice and clean wherever you may go. Give a hoot. Don't pollute with the owl knows what is best. Help him check pollution in the north, south, east, and west. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Never be our dirty bird. In the city or in the woods, help keep America looking good. Gee, I wish I can see with the owl. I wonder what he's like. He's a very nice owl. He's probably asleep right now. Owls do sleep in the day, you know. No way. Not Woodsy. He's out asking people to give a hoot, don't pollute. Wonder how he could meet with the owl. I might be able to arrange it. You, my friend, just wait right here. I'll go find him. I know he's near. Hey, Woodsy, come with me. I've got some friends for you to see. Okay, okay. Be right with you. Well, uh, what have we here? Uh, is this uh, yours, young fella? Hi, I'm Woodsy Owl, and I'm here to ask you for some help. You see, I want you to help keep our forests and cities clean and beautiful. Now, I know it's a mighty big job, but what do you say, fellas? You want to help? Sure! I knew it, Woodsy. You need not fear. You've got some darn good help right here. Where do we start, Woodsy? Come on, I'll show you. What do you suppose we can do about that? Sand it down with sandpaper. Let's screw it with soap and water. Or paint remover. Why not paint it all over? So it looks like it did before someone wrote on it. Yep, that's right. Any of those ideas will work, but uh, let's think about it. What's the best solution? Not tread on the rocks at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. Come on, kids. Let's get busy and clean up our rocks. better. Mother Nature sure paints them better than anyone else ever could. What's next, Woodsy? Well, come on, kids, and I'll show you. Now, I can remember when this was clear. Looks like some dirty birds were here. Looks like somebody dumped oil into the stream. Someone threw paper cups into it, too. And soda pop cans. Why do people do this, Woodsy? Well, Greg, they just don't think. They forget to be careful. But that's how we can help. Now, if we see a mess, help clean it up. But most important, don't make a mess in the first place. <laughs> Come on, kids, let's get busy. <laughs> Help Woodsy spread the word, never be a dirty bird. No matter where you go, you can let some people know. Do give a hoot, don't pollute, never be a dirty bird. In the snow or on the sand, help keep America looking grand. Oh, help Woodsy spread the word, never be a dirty bird. No matter where you go, you can let some people know to give a hoot, don't pollute, never be a dirty bird. In the city or in the woods, help keep America looking good. May I have this dance, Miss Parker? Why, thank you, Woodsy. I'd love to. show you something else that's pretty bad. Isn't that awful? Come on, let's go down there and see for ourselves. Oh, no, look at that. Air pollution, sight pollution, noise pollution, and litter everywhere. Now this is where litter belongs. I know, I know. Pretty sad, isn't it? Listen, what do you hear? 
That's much too loud and hurts your ears. I hear a motorbike. That's right. If that was your motorbike, what would you do about the noise? I'd have the garage make it more quiet. Or I'd... Oh, I'd ride my bike. That's a great idea. I hear a radio that's too loud. I'd turn it down if it was mine. Good girl, Marianne. I hear a car with a broken muffler, like my dad. Now tell me, Mike, can you do anything about that? Sure, I'd ask my dad to have it fixed. Well, I know that would help. Every little bit we can do to stop pollution certainly does help. The main thing is that we all try. Look here, Woodsy. Someone carved up the picnic table. It can be fixed, can't it, Woodsy? With some brushes and paint and a little wood putty, this table could be mighty pretty. Mr. Music is right. If people would only keep it that way. We'll help, Woodsy. Yeah, yeah we'll help. help. Yeah. Tell your friends about it, too, so they will know what not to do. Come follow me and you will see what can happen to a beautiful tree. That hurts a tree just like a cut hurts you. How, how can we fix this, Woodsy? Well, I'm sorry to say, Greg, there are some things we just can't fix. You know, this tree will always carry these scars. Sometimes this can even make a tree die. That's why it's important you can see why no one should ever carve a tree. You're so right, Mr. Music. It's important for all of us to think before we do something, especially something that can't be changed. Every little bit that we do to stop pollution will help. Hello, Woodsy. Uh-huh. And we can all help spread the word to... Never be a dirty bird. We'll help stop pollution, Woodsy. All kinds. And we'll get our parents to help, too. Yeah. Now, kids, I'm going to be counting on you, every one of you. Just think about what you can do to stop pollution in your own backyards, at school, or, well, just anywhere you go. Hey, come on, kids. There's a place I know. Let's have some fun before we go. All right. Kids, don't forget, I'm counting on you. Okay, Woodsy, you don't have nothing to worry about. Hey, Woodsy's right, though. Yeah, it sure yeah. is. Yeah. Pollute. 